I'm David Keller. I'm one of the directors of the Center for Advanced Imaging, which is located here in our Princeton, New Jersey facility. So throughout my 26 year career here at uh, what used to be Sarnoff and then SRI, I was involved in a lot of different programs. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer by training and what our group does is make custom imagers in basically four different areas. Um, we do work in custom imagers for spectroscopy, uh, for low light imaging for the government. We also work in LIDAR, which is laser radar. And my particular uh, area that I work in is for space sensors, imagers that are used for space exploration. One of the reasons I like working on these space programs is um, because it is for, I would say, the good of mankind to advance our knowledge. So the sensors that we uh, design, fabricate, and deliver for space exploration are really helping in a couple of fronts. One is, and people may not realize this, is space weather, right? So we have imagers that are uh, polar orbiting the Earth, and one of those imagers, you probably see the images from it during the hurricane season on the nightly news. Every time there's a hurricane and there's pictures of a hurricane that's done at night, that's coming from one of SRI's imagers. And we actually have three of those satellites with our, those imagers, so you were actually getting an update on uh, the weather multiple times during, during the day. The other thing that we do is we have um, Earth orbiting satellites where we have our imagers that are looking at the sun. What we're looking for in this, with this sensor is any coronal mass ejections that might be headed directly towards the Earth, in which case we could then give a warning to power grids, satellites, et cetera, to, to take some corrective action. I feel very good that the sensors that we're, we're providing you know, are, are providing a service to, to not just SRI, but also the broader community. For space exploration, we have imagers on various satellites that are either already launched in space and they're exploring our sun, or sensors that are going to be launched soon that are looking at uh, planets and our solar system in general uh, to see how stars have uh, formed and evolved. The Parker Solar Probe is currently the fastest main man-made object in space going around 435,000 miles per hour. It's also the closest object uh, to the sun uh, within about 3.8 million miles of, of the surface of the sun. So the custom imagers that SRI makes um, obviously have to withstand the rigors of space. That includes things like the temperature extremes in space, the radiation that it would see, and that's part of our expertise that we bring to the field, is being able to make these custom sensors that can survive those extremes. People, companies, universities come to SRI to work with us for our space imagers because we have a very small group of experienced uh, scientists and engineers. You can work with us to customize what your needs are. We can develop a very specific sensor to exactly what your needs as compared to a mass production device where you have to fit within the niche. The other thing that we do is we make custom um, packages, right, in order to be able to hold these imagers, you have to put it into, you know, a camera, right, and these packages have to withstand the, the, the harsh environments of space. So we have the expertise to design and fabricate those packages and do it, uh, you know, on this one-to-one -one basis with, with our customer.